Hi, Scott and Daryl from Banner Engineering. In this module of basic photoelectric sensor concepts, we're gonna talk a little bit about the construction and how a photoelectric sensor works. Daryl, can you walk us through a little bit of the construction on some photo eyes? Sure, Scott. So each photoelectric sensor has an emitter and a receiver. So we'll start off with the emitter. The emitter is the device that actually emits light. We call this an LED, stands for light emitting diode. What we do with these LEDs is we actually pulse them. We give them their own frequency. And what we also do is with the receiver, we tune it to the emitter's frequency. The concept to help you get this is, if you think of a radio, it can pick up many different stations, but it only picks up the station that your radio is tuned into. Same with the receiver. It will only pick up the frequency that the emitter of the emitter, because that's what it's tuned to. That way we can block out a lot of noise in a factory environment. Visible red is very common, and uh, infrared is as well. We typically go to visible red if we want contrast. We also have green and blue LEDs that help with contrast, or if we want to aid in alignment. We'll go to infrared if we want long range. We also have lasers, and Banner has class one and class two lasers. Uh, class two is a little bit more higher power. Just so you know, there is a class three but Banner doesn't go there because it can pose an eye hazard. So you can feel comfortable that if you ever use a Banner laser device, it's only class two and it poses no eye hazard. So Daryl, you talked a little bit about that word modulation. You use that concept of a radio station. Mm -hmm. Is that what helps us avoid getting interference from overhead lighting and other light sources, is that correct? That's exactly it, Scott. It's a very easy and efficient way to engineer a sensor to ignore all the other light noise in a factory. And do we do that with our LEDs as well as our laser sensors? We do them with all of our photoelectric products, exactly. Excellent. I've got a couple of examples here, some different size uh, photo eyes, our Q60, you can see we've got a very uh, large format emitter receiver on here, all the way down to one of our VS2s, our very small sensors, but the same concepts ex exist there. So whether you're working with something very long range or a lot of power, or something small for very close range, the same concept applies, an emitter and a receiver, and then using that modulated light that Daryl talked about.